Hey, how are you, Justin? I'm good. How are you doing? Pretty good. How's the weather oh, down good. there in Daytona? You're gonna make it real good. Well, I'm staring at a bunch of snow, so I'm kind of jealous of you. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I actually just talked to my wife, and I live in Arkansas, and she says 30 degrees, and it's about 80 here, so um, I, I'm happy that I'm here. So are you at the track right now? I am at the track. I'm, I'm on the infield here, and uh, it's, uh, it's exciting. You know, I'm, I'm a big race fan, and I've been to quite a few races, but I've not been to they tell me yet, so this should be fun, and, and uh, you know, to get the, uh, uh, to get to kick off the, uh, the annual Your Heroes Name Here program here at Daytona will be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think you're going to have a blast. Are they going to let you drive at all? I think I meet the height requirement to drive. Are you sure? Uh, I, <laughs> I figured it, they would uh, let you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe Danica will take you around. <laughs> yeah, I, well, maybe, yeah. I guess I'm, I'm probably as tall as her, maybe. So what exactly are you doing down there? You're doing the Crown Royal Search? Yeah, you know what? Last year I was fortunate to be a, a, a part of um, a program that, that Crown Royal uh, has done for a couple of years now, or a few years, and uh, it's called the Your Hero's Name Here program, and it honors uh, uh, heroes who rain on every day, and, uh, it, you know, this small town, uh, you know, unassuming individuals who kind of go about their business and uh, don't expect anything like this, but uh, it's really, really a cool deal, and uh, they honor them and, and actually name uh, name the, the brickyard after them. So uh, last year I was uh, I was involved and, and got to meet a, a firefighter who had uh, who had lost uh, one of his legs and, and uh, just against ridiculous odds had had, uh, had done some really incredible things in and, and, and his profession and and. Uh, Got to go down there and meet him and his family and honor him, and then uh, got to hang out at the brickyard with him. We played a show there, and and um, and he got to come up and see the race, obviously. And uh, it's just a really cool program that, that uh, to be involved with. And we're kicking it off this year at Daytona. So yeah, you're the first musical act. Is that correct? And we're playing uh, we're playing Sunday at the Crown Royal Footprint. Uh, at, at 10 o'clock, so uh, it'll it'll be a lot of fun. I'm not used to playing that early in the morning, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it'll be good. It, it's a, like I said, it's it's a cool thing to be a, a part of, and, and I, I'm I'm excited about it. You just can't stay out late the night before. That's all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's why I got to be out the, the night before. My, my wife will be with me, so she'll keep me in check. Is she going to bring the girls? <laughs> you know what? The girls will not. <laughs> so she's actually gonna she's gonna be hanging uh, this year too. So that'll be even funner. Yeah, that's I'll, awesome. Stay out of trouble, so. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm sure she's gonna love it. Oh yeah, yeah, and you know what better race to to go to for your first one than the, the biggest one of them all. So. That's right. Now you also just finished um, touring with Eric Church, correct? We did. Yeah, we've been fortunate to be out on that ever major tour that you can be on over the past few years and um, it, you know that one was as good or better than any of them it was a lot of fun and a great opportunity for us to play in front of a lot of people every night and you know we have the same type of fans and th same type of show and it was a big party so it was a lot of fun and um, we're looking forward to you know taking the experience that we had on that tour and all the other tours and kicking off our our first headline of tour this year here in about a month actually the uh, outlaws like me tour and uh, we're excited to have dustin lynch out and, and john party and eric church every time i've seen him pours beer on himself during the show <laughs> no, I, I try not to pour it on myself i might pour it down my throat oh okay uh, but, uh, so you put it where it belongs <laughs> now, what is your current single do you have a new single out now since till my last day 
we don't, you know. We, we were we were excited for that to be our third number one record, and, and uh, we kind of went back and forth about putting a, a new single out from the Outlaws Like Me album or moving on to a new album, and uh, we've decided to, to put a new single from a, a brand new album that we'll have coming out probably sometime in the summer. I'm usually the last person to know. We got a new single coming out in a couple of weeks called Point at You, and uh, it's a you know it's a fun uh, tempo um, kind of tough love song. You know I, I've said in the past that one reason I don't do a whole lot of love songs is because it just it's it's not easy for me to find or write love songs that uh, I just feel like are still me. And I think you know till my last day was was. Um, uh, you know, it kind of opened that door for us, I think, to, to, to do some more things in that vein. And, you know, this song obviously is totally different, but I think it uh, is kind of in that vein. So hopefully people dig it and, and uh, we're excited about it. So. Oh, I'm sure they're going to love it. But I do, are well, you, well, absolutely. so would you, I'm guessing you're thinking you're more beta hook than Till My Last Day, typically? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just, I think it's it's more, I'm more comfortable doing, uh, you know, the redneck, you know, uh, beer drinking kind of stuff. It's just, it's just, uh, I think I write more of that and uh, I'm more comfortable doing that. But I think at the same time, it, we needed to do something different like till my last day and, and um, you know, uh, it was a, a blessing for us to, to have that be a big hit record out there. And, and like I said, I think it, it allows us now in the future to do some more stuff like that. So so then who do you think is going to win the race this weekend? <sighs> Boy, if I knew who was going to win, I'd be... You know, I, I think, uh, you know, I'm a Carl Edwards fan, obviously, because he and I are, are buddies and, and uh, you know, we've done some things together. But... Uh, I'm a little unsure after he got, you know, kind of knocked around in practice a little bit. But uh, for whatever reason, I <laughs> kind of feel like uh, it might be Stewart's time to, to win his first 500. Um, you know, his cars are, are looking pretty strong here in the last week or so. And, um, you know, that's, that, if I had to choose one, that'd probably be who I'd go with. I mean, you can't, can't uh, argue with him too much. So your confidence has been shaken in Carl. <laughs> well, I'm a little unsure of his car. I haven't, I haven't, um, you know, I don't know about it after uh, after yesterday. So if he was starting in the top five. I would definitely pick him. But you know, this is one of these one of the tracks that you have you never know. I mean, somebody can go from fifteenth to the first uh, on the back stretch. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's it's a fun race to watch. So. Well, that's going to be fun. I'm excited for you. I think it's going to be a great experience. Yeah, it's going to, you know, again, it, it, it's it's a lot of fun for me because I'm a, obviously a NASCAR fan and, and uh, you know, country music and NASCAR uh, together just make a lot of sense. And, and uh, you know, I'm lucky to be at a record label who, uh, you know, has great relationships with not only NASCAR, but... but but other folks who do some great things like Ground Rule with this Your Heroes Nightmare program. It was a lot of fun last year, and it'll be a lot of fun for us to kick it off this year uh, here at Daytona and uh, and for us to get to play, you know, uh, before a race, uh, but in particular, you know, these big races. And, and again, honor, honor some small-town heroes. It'll be a lot of fun, so, you know, Make sure we get everybody out there to crowdroyalheroes.com. Uh, our fans are 21 and older to uh, to nominate their heroes if they've got some people who've made a difference in their lives. Because it, like I said, it is a it's a great uh, it's a great deal and a great program, and I'm happy to be involved in it. So yeah, it really sounds great, and we definitely appreciate your involvement in it as well. And thank Absolutely. you. Thank you so much for your time because I know you're running short here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your time. I know you don't have, have to do it, but we certainly appreciate it. Well, thank you. You have a great day, and good luck on Sunday. All right. Take care. Thank <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.